Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Good evening. I see two good evenings on the chat only. Are there more? More good evenings. Natalia and Miguel Angel only. Well, it's Friday, December 1st. <laughs> we start a new month in the last month of the year. In Christmas time. Yes. Well, good evening, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you are okay. I hope you're doing great. I hope you can rest the rest of this week, tomorrow, the weekend. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Elvin. Present, Miss Diapasolista. Not yet, don't worry. <laughs> Good evening, good evening, Jocelyn. Well, hi, hi, Gracia. Good evening, good evening. Well, we're going to start the last class of the third week of the unit three. This is our last class. And then we just have next week and the course is over. We finish, okay? Remember that? Please keep that in mind. Okay, as a reference, let me introduce the presentation for today. Yeah, as I was saying, December 1st, the 1st of December. Uh, good evening, Mr. Hector Ramirez. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Hi, thank you. Are you at work or at home? Uh, in my house. At home. That's yes. good. Finally. <laughs> finally, yeah. finally. Good, 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 good. Okay. We get the usual reminders for every session. We have these reminders. Remember how important your attendance is, your participation, and definitely to stay the whole class. Okay. These are the common and the generalities for the video conference. Uh, usual settings and of course the participation in the breakout rooms they're important to gain to definitely stay as much as you can in a <clears throat> in a place where you can focus right where you can practice Oh, these are the, the dates for the evaluation time. So please make sure that you work on time on every session that you're supposed to work on. And of course, this is the last class of the session three. So I hope you have worked on that as well. Okay. At the end of this session, you'll be able to review the vocabulary about communication in the workplace. Appropriate, effective communication. Remember communication in a oral or written form are very important, all right? Both. Okay, good. Well, as the introduction of the class, let me just have the attendance. One second, please.
All right, let me see the attendance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ana Cristina? Brian? Brian, Brian. David Miguel. Bueno, no me la cuide mucho. Débora Betis. Hola, buenas. No se preocupe. Son 20 minutos. Doris. Present. Hi. Elvin. F. Bully. Present, Miss. Gracias. Present. Héctor. Present, teacher. Imelda. Iván, Joana, Karen, Laura, Present teacher. Hello. Hello. María Irma, Present teacher. Hello. Miguel Ángel, Present teacher. Hello. Nelson. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Paula Natalia. Present teacher. Hello. Ricardo. Wendy. Present teacher. Present, present teacher. Hi, hi. And hi. Mr. Wilmer is not here. Mm. Okay. Me escuché cuando me mencionó la teacher, pero present. Really? Yes. Yes, I mentioned. <laughs> no problem. I mentioned you. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry about the noise here. All right, let's go on. Oh my goodness. This is a class number five. So we're making a review of some structures we have studied so far. So, we're gonna start with this exercise. Try to read the whole sentence, the complete sentence. Try to complete the sentence and read, practice reading aloud. And of course, understand what you're reading, okay? So that is the idea. Let's work in small groups, okay?
Yo creo que es You should call your parents now. They they're worried about you. Sí. Ajá, que están preocupados. Ajá, tú deberías sí, llamar a tu padre. Ajá, should, ajá. Should, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Cinco. Would be late for school. The teacher get angry. Eh, shouldn't sería porque. Sí, shouldn't. Ajá, no debería llegar tarde. El maestro se enoja. Ah, cabal. Sí. <risa> Vaya a las seis. Eh. Ahí creo que fue igual que como la, la tres. You sí. should brush your teeth twice a day. Sí, sí, sí. Así Ajá. sería. A siete. Ahí creo que sería. Should, should, should not. Shouldn't, ajá. Ah, you shouldn't open the window, it's cold. No, hace mucho frío. Hace frío. Ajá. Uh, a la ocho, she shouldn't copy her friends from the work. The, she, the teacher gets angry. Children también. Mm -hmm. Sí. La nueve, he's tired. Eh, he shouldn't party all night. Should, should. Mm. Correcto. Sí. Y la última sería should. Mm -hmm. You should eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Debería de comer muchas frutas mucha y fruta vegetales. Y verdura. Ajá. Ajá, correcto. Ok. Sí, así serían, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 así. No, vaya. Sí, porque.
All right, finish. Thumbs up if you finish. Thumbs up. Really, really teacher. No questions, no problems. New vocabulary, Watch. unknown words, difficult words to pronounce. Anything? No? no. Sure. Sure. Oh, well. No, number one, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's very hot today. They... Sure. They should. Sure. Remember, we ignore the letter L. The letter L doesn't sound. It's mute. Yes. They should open the window. I'm tired. Well? Um, should I? You shouldn't. Should. You should not, right? So you shouldn't. Uh -huh. You shouldn't watch TV the whole night if you are tired. He has bad. He has bad teeth. He should. He should. He should brush his teeth twice a day. You. Your par call your parents now. They're worried about you. Hmm? You should call your parents now. They are worried about you. We should. Sure. We should be uh, late for school. We shouldn't. Sure. Yeah, we shouldn't be late for school. The teacher gets angry. You Sure. You should. I'm going to write it here because of the space, okay? But you know it goes there. You should brush your teeth twice a day. Okay. You should open or you shouldn't open the window. Uh, sure. You shouldn't sure. because sure. it's cold. You shouldn't open the window. It's cold. She copied her friend's homework. The teacher gets angry. Uh huh. Shouldn't. She shouldn't. All right. She shouldn't open. No, she shouldn't open. She shouldn't copy. <laughs> He's tired. He should. She. He shouldn't party all night. Shouldn't right? Cause he's tired. You eat yes. lots of fruits and vegetables. Sure. You should. You should eat lots of fruits and vegetables. That's right. Correct. Any question? Pretty easy, pretty simple. Okay. All good, all good. We are all good. Uh-huh. Look at the following workplace attitude. An action. Look at the following workplace attitudes and actions and express which ones are good and which are not good, which are bad etiquette. Okay? Yell at coworkers. Good or bad etiquette? Mm -hmm. Not paying attention, good or bad etiquette. Gossiping, good or bad etiquette. Eating at working time, good or bad etiquette. Messy workplace, good or bad. Uh-huh. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. bad. <laughs> Everything is bad. Very bad. Bad etiquette. Exactly. Jail at co-workers. Ah, that's so common that when some people, especially I would say that 
people who are under pressure, under stress, in very busy situations, they tend to gel at co-workers or at other workers. Not necessarily co-workers, but sometimes bosses or supervisors usually gel at workers or at employees. Not paying attention happens in the meetings or in the trainings or in the workshops that they are supposed to be paying attention. They are just distracted, looking at the phone, doing other things, sleeping, playing. That is bad etiquette. Messy workplace, when you have a lot of things on the desk, on the workplace, that's bad etiquette. Eating at working time. Terrible. Yeah, I know some offices even get uh, a punishment because they have food in the office. And gossiping, definitely negative, negative, bad etiquette. All right, so this is what we are going to be finishing. <laughs> okay, now you have some other gossiping, harassment, greeting, all being objective. Bye. Clasifiquen estas attitudes o estas uh, actions y díganme cuáles son good y cuáles son bad etiquette. Ya discutimos de gossiping. So definitely gossiping, speaking behind the partners, behind the back of the colleagues, of the co-workers, totally negative. Uh -huh. Harassment. Do you know what harassment is? ¿Alguien sabe qué es harassment? Acoso. Acoso. Y no necesariamente el tipo de acoso que uno dice, ah, como el más común, ¿verdad? El acoso, like sexual harassment, pero también existe otro tipo de harassment. ¿Qué otro tipo de harassment podría uh, existir en el lugar de trabajo? ¿Cómo se define el acoso laboral? What is considered working harassment? Mm -hmm. Any idea? No ideas. Bad etiquette. Bad etiquette, definitely. Pero ¿qué podría ser un ejemplo de harassment at work? Un piropo. Ajá, aunque eso es considerado el sexual harassment. Pero el, el acoso laboral, like, no necesariamente like this type of harassment. Teacher, como trabajar más, o sea, pero no considerarlas como horas extras, sino que así como eh, aprovechándose, ¿verdad? Es que, de su tiempo. No, no sé. Ah, eso ya es más sexual harassment. Ajá, pero lo que decía la compañera, sí, es un acoso laboral. O el hecho de estar siendo juzgado, estar siendo supervisado constantemente o toda la vida desapro desaprobado en las acciones laborales, eso es harassment, porque estar solo por estar encima, encima, encima. That's harassment. Sobreca sobrecarga de trabajo, Tisha. That's harassment too. Exactly. O cualquier cosa de que ya lo acusan de, o lo juzgan. O sea, eso es harassment. O sea, no tener la libertad o, o la, pues la libertad en sí de, de poder tomar decisiones o de hacer sus actividades tranquilamente. Eso es harassment. Uh -huh. But reading notes, that's good. Good etiquette. El hecho de saludar, saludarlo a todos. No, no solo saludo a fulanito y el otro lo ignoro. So that's Greeting everybody. Being objective, el, lado de ser, el, el hecho de ser objetivo, pro, 
de proponer, de ser creativo, de tomar iniciativa, de liderar actividades. That's good. That's being objective. All right. Vaya, vamos a ver esta parte de vocabulary. Match definitions. Tenemos etiquette, instructions, rules, and opinions. Vamos a tratar de provide definition. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que traten de leer y de buscar cómo definir etiquette. Etiquette is instructions is this, this, and this. Okay? Rules are this, this, and this. Traten de dar como una definición de cada una de estas cosas. Okay? I'll give you a couple of minutes. Tiene un par de minutos para pensar. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, can you write the definitions on the chat, please? Thank you. We're gonna read the messages on the chat. Write the definition that you got from etiquette, from instructions, from rules, and from opinions. I'm gonna read your messages on the chat. Uh-huh. Okay, no messages yet. Write your definitions on the chat. Share, share your definitions on the chat, please. Mm -hmm. Collaborate. No definitions yet. Hello? Parte no la comprendí muy bien que íbamos a hacer. Ah, buscar una definición de cada una de esas palabras. Ah. Uh -huh. Hola, teacher. Hola, Eva. Yo hice las definiciones, pero de las etiquetas es que no, no supe cómo formularlas, pero las otras ya las agregué en el chat. Nice. Thank you, Laura. Instructions are guides for doing something. Uh -huh. Rules are formal guidelines that must be followed. Opinions are ideas or concepts that a person has about something. Okay, very good. Excellent. Natalia, etiquettes are formalities observed in certain public events. Very good. Great. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's right, that's correct. Okay, one more time. Provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Bye. Compartan por lo menos Dos o tres reglas de etiqueta en su lugar de trabajo en el chat. ¿Cuál podría ser una? Usa el uniforme correctamente. Wear the uniform, okay? Correctly or properly. Don't eat on your desk. De al menos dos reglas de etiqueta en el chat de su lugar de trabajo. All right? Nice. Two... Etiquette rules on the chat about your workplace. Uh -huh. Don't drink coffee in the office. All right. Very good, David. So you cannot drink coffee in your office, only in the cafeteria. Uh -huh. Two etiquette rules of your workplace, please. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Only David write one rule. 
to to everybody to rules of etiquette at your workplace everybody Uh -huh. Yes, no more rules. So there are no rules of etiquette in your workplace. <gasps> respect to the co-workers, respect everybody, respect every co-worker, exactly. Don't use cell phones in the operation room, nice. Do not say full words. <laughs> Do not shout on the work floor. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Somebody else? Thumbs up. Uh -huh. Keep the work area clean and tidy. Respect belongings. Excellent. Okay, hold up. Nice. Use your phone sparkling, sparkling at work. Mm -hmm. The means on the vibration mode. Don't share confidential information. That's very delicate, right? Don't listen to music in the office. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. Excellent. No more? Enough. Enough, enough. Okay. No more? All right. I see no more. Okay, provide written and oral instructions etiquette at the workplace. Oh, one more. Don't shout in the office. That's true. Excellent. Oh, don't shout at anybody in the workplace, right? Oh, don't you ever shout in any situation, actually. Okay, I'm going to give you this exercise. Okay, you have some situations. If you know you are late, you should. A, B, C, and for number two, for number three, and for number four. Okay, you're going to discuss this as you consider the correct answer, all right? Let's go.
No me le puede hacer nada. Huele, mira, siente todavía mi miedo. Ahí lo único que has hecho como espuma, no, como que se ha batido. Ajá, como que se ha batido. Lo que vas a hacer es echarle un recipiente y ver cómo se pone ya cuando se tibelle. Deja lo que se tibelle para echarte lo que te vas a echar ahí. ¿no? Yo quiero que vos me lo eches. Va, entonces mañana voy a ver. A ver, a tu Quiero ver en la mañana. Voy a dejar En la tarde voy a venir a echarte. Pero sí. lo sacas, digamos que voy a venir como a las tres, lo sacas para que... Este... ¿Y de la mañana no vas a estar? Que la... llegue fue lo que me lo eché. Ah, va. va. A la... Pero llegas temprano porque a las nueve me voy a levantar. A las ocho me levanto, como a las nueve porque a las diez empiezo a dar comida. <risa> para irme a dejar. Ay, pero... A ver. pero pero mira, digo... es raro, voy a dejarlo. Sí, le digo a Leonardo que quiero trabajar este, este temporada ahí en la bomba. Y que cuánto tiempo va a estar celebrado así? Es en diciembre la temporada que buscan enviarlos así como para ayudar. Como ahí se llenen la bomba. Y yo le dije al dicho de ahí. Muy bien, y hay que hacerlo. Sí, claro. Ahí está la teacher. Pregunté, Mori. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, uh, teacher, we yes. have a question. Uh -huh. uh, and the question number one, uh, in my case, mm -hmm. is the letter A and letter B, because when I When I go too late to to my job, mm -hmm. I what? Uh -huh, I compensate. report to my supervisor and I confess the time. Uh -huh. If you if you have to, it's okay. Oh, okay, eh, está bien así entonces. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, en mi caso es así. En el caso yes. de Grecia es diferente. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, did you just finish? Good, 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 good. If you remember yesterday, 
we talk about this? There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. El ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, bueno, el que acabo de asignar, so no if you did it. Definitivamente es en referencia a este algo. So, just to refresh, refresh our memory, I'm going to read it again. Give me one second. To place my mouse here. Okay, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, additional late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concern of authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the aim of official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly to be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Hmm. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you're eating, say excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you're sure. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotion. So, the exercise I gave you was this, okay? So, in some cases in your work, if you know you're late, you should compensate the time and call the person you report to. But according to the article, what is the correct answer? Uh-huh. Let's see if you complete it. Give me one second, please. I think, yes. I should show it from here. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Yes. Uh huh. What letter did you choose? A, B, C, D for number one. Yes? Tell me. Letter B. Letter B. That's right. For number two, if, uh, oh, sorry, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Uh-huh. Letter C. Letter C, right? Express the subject clearly. For number three, which is not the etiquette, we're talking on the phone. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Interrupt the other speaker. If you receive a call while you're eating, with your co-workers, you should, number four. Mm 
letter A. Letter A. <laughs> Ignore the call and continue eating. The <laughs> long is the more important food in the A. <laughs> the most important is the food at that time. Yes. At the moment. Okay. According to the article, yes. No. Letter C. Leave the table. Say, excuse me, and go a couple of steps away and answer as quickly as possible. Not that you're going to, oh, stop eating and then go talk on the phone for two hours. No. As fast as possible, right? Okay, good. Rewrite. Okay, summarize by etiquette guidelines from the article. Okay, express a salute before entering a place. Don't forget your manners and mind your language. Be kind of professional. I think this could be like the most general ideas and summary of etiquette at the workplace. Okay, one second. Just one. Okay, we're done with this, we're done with this, and we're done with this. Si ustedes tuvieran que escribir un manual de etiqueta para su lugar de trabajo, ¿qué incluirían? Aquí tienen ya la posibilidad de crear el manual, de decir aquellas cosas que se deberían o que no se deberían hacer en su trabajo porque no está bien, ¿ya? Yo incluiría la first one, don't shout. No grite, por más que ande desesperado, estresado, o buscado, don't shout. Háblele a la gente en un tono cordial. I would say that one, don't shout. No matters what, don't lose your temper, control your expressions. Esa soy yo, pero ustedes, ¿qué incluirían en ese manual? Obviously, your workplace has different conditions than my workplace, ¿ok? Vaya, háganlo. Y cuando ya lo tengan, lo van a compartir con su partner. Pero háganlo. <coughs> Porque I understand. Yo entiendo que algunas ocasiones si ustedes están en su trabajo y no pueden hacer las actividades y solo están escuchando. Pero hay, hay personas que no están en su trabajo y no están haciendo los ejercicios. So, please do it. Es parte también de la etiqueta y el respeto de la clase.
All right, any volunteer? Natalia, very good. Um, teacher, for mm -hmm. example, um, do not get angry mm -hmm. when you are giving an order. Mm -hmm. uh, Geraldical respect. Mm -hmm. um, be other um, um, careful. Uh, ser ordenado y cuidadoso. Okay, careful, yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, present your for with an uh, excellent image. Okay, an excellent image, like the personal image. Image. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. David. Well, don't eat in the operation route. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Keep your words pay clean. Mm -hmm. Don't yell in the office. Mm -hmm. Don't use cell phone in the operation room. Mm -hmm. That's Only. all? Yes. All. That's all. Very good. Excellent. So, anybody else? Any other volunteer? More volunteers? No. All right. Vale, ¿qué tienen las palabras que tienen que encontrar? Etiquette, guidelines, polite manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutations, and subject. All right, Laura wrote it on the chat. Use the phone in moderation. Be punctual at work meetings. Comply with the dress code. Respect the belongings of the colleagues and keep your voice low, 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 low. Excellent, Laura, very good. Don Hector says, all right. He says, uh, <clears throat> Pay attention to the client, greet co-workers co cordially, attend to pregnant people and elderly first, do not harass the volunteers at work, treat people with politeness, do not interrupt co-workers' conversations when they are giving opinions or creating policies. Excellent. All right, next exercise, look for these words here. So I was saying etiquette, guidelines, polite manners, regards, punctual, like commerce, behavior, salutation, subject. Si ya alguien ha identificado alguna, me puede decir, please. Me, teacher. All right, tell me. Uh, polite. Polite. ¿Dónde está polite? Uh, final. Final. Uh, final. Uh -huh. La V. Where? Sí. Aquí. Uh -huh. Ahí, polite. Hacia atrás. <ríe> Hacia atrás está polite. Sí. Nice. Tengo el gato también. Dígame, dígame. Salutation. Salutation, ¿dónde está salutation? Está arriba de la P que acaba de decir el compañero. De la última. Hacia arriba. Ahí, arriba. Uh -huh. Ajá. From the bottom to the top. Salutation. Mm. Ajá. Gidel, Gidel line. Guidelines. Guidelines. Ajá. Ajá. Está a la par, al lado a la, derecho. A la par de qué? De la que acabamos de, de decir la compañera. Esta. Ajá. Uh, desde acá. Ajá. Uh, ok, very good. Guidelines. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es la otra que habíamos hecho por la ¿no? Por la salutations and guidelines. Ajá. Uh -huh. Punctual. 
Punctual. Punctual. Está, está punctual? en la segunda fila de abajo hacia arriba. ¿Aquí? Uh, no, columna, perdón. <risa> ¿En esta? Yes. Ok. Punctual. Teacher, right. me la de subchat. Which one? Subchat está en la primera línea. Esta, subject. En la primera línea. Yes. A this one. No, más arriba. Es que creo que le sale cortado, ¿verdad? Es más arriba. Pero eso es todo. Subject. Mm. Ah, pues le hace falta, ¿verdad? La otra línea. Subject, subject, subject. Vamos a hacer aquí está para el otro lado. Etiquette. Mm. Etiquette. Vaya, de Etiquette. Etiquette. Aquí a la parte de la parte de saludation, en la misma. Aquí. A la, es, de ahí, exacto, de arriba. Uh -huh. No, de, 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 yes, de arriba por abajo, es cierto. Etiquette. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. Regar teacher a la par de puntual, pero donde, finaliza, donde, donde finaliza la L hacia abajo. Ajá, uh -huh, acá. Yes. Regards, best regards. Uh -huh. Ustedes son buenos con esto, ya veo. <ríe> Yo daba lástima, no me. <ríe> I was terrible. Manners, teacher. Manners. Uh -huh. Está dos filas después de rigor. Dos líneas después de rigor. Manners. Yeah. Two columns after rigor. Manners. Manners. Ajá. Base, quiero ver. Baseboard. Yeah. ¿Cómo es? What do you say? Baseboard is behavior. Uh, esa está la par de um, pero lo perdí ¿Eh? no está en medio está en medio ajá sí yes behavior ay me salté es que este marcador está difícil de controlar behavior bueno nos sí. falta Subject, subject todavía no lo hemos encontrado, que yo lo marqué acá. Es que está arriba, teacher. Es que no le parece porque está cortado. De verdad. Igual, late comer. Late no, comer. O no ¿Dónde? sé si estará en otro lado. A la parte de etiquette, está Ajá. late comer por arriba. Mm. Pero no está nadie. Sé que a mí no me está saliendo todo. No, es que le hace falta la, ah, no, la línea de arriba. Y ahí completa la que dice el compañero, la letra que hace falta. Pues sí. Ahí está. Mm, entonces, subject es aquí. La primera línea, no estaba proyectada. Sorry. <ríe> ¿Y cuál era la otra que me faltaba? Late comer. Late comer. ¿Es esta? No. Sí, es a la parte de etiquette. De etiquette. Solo que es de, de abajo para arriba. Ah, es que hacia ah. arriba. Late cover. Sí. We are done. Terminamos. Ok, done. Lo reservaron su. Pero aquí ya se nos movió, ¿verdad? True, true, true. Vamos a tener que borrar. Because. Vale. 
Exercise three. Would you mind and could you? Vamos a ver, vamos a identificar tres errores in the request below. Would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. ¿Hay algún error acá? No. In the number two, ¿hay algún error? ¿Identifican algún error? Ahí le voy a dar unos minutitos para que traten de identificar. Okay, let's identify the mistakes. Which line of your car is blocking mine? This is correct, right? Yes. Could you, you could fill this purchase order. <laughs> yes. yes. Could you? Could you, Lord. exactly. El problema es que el could debería de estar antes, ¿verdad? Vaya. Would you sending this invitation to your assistant? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Me. Yes. Could you send? El ING no debería ir. Solo debería ser, could you send? Oh, would you send? Sorry. This invitation to your assistant. Would you mind ordering something to eat? ¿Es esta? En el verbo, coming. Would you mind ordering something to eat? It's correct. It's correct. Exactly. Could you come in? Exactly. El problema está en coming. Debería decir, could you come? come? Exactly. Early. Earlier. Tomorrow. We need to receive our visitors. Bye, Sam. Bye.
Tenemos el siguiente exercise. Select the most appropriate answer to the request below. Uh, would you mind turning the lights on? ¿Cómo debería responder alguien que sí eh, acceda a hacer este favor? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Podría. Ajá, pero no lo problem. más apropiado es no problem. Sure, no problem. Claro, no problem. Ok. Could you order something to eat, please? Is pizza okay? Is pizza okay? That's right. Could you request more jumbo paper clips, please? Right away. Right away. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? No, I will not. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Yes. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Exactly. <laughs> Bye. Lo voy a tener que borrar por cuestión de mover el PDF. Ok. Vaya. Ahora vamos a ver. Write a suggestion about the following behavior. Ese creo que ya lo habíamos hecho. Así que we are done. Habemos terminado la unit 3. Y la siguiente semana trabajaremos travel plans y deben terminar hoy, tonight, a más tardar mañana a las 5 de la mañana a la unit 3. ¿Ya la terminaron? Levanten la mano, ya la terminaron. Excellent. Bingo. Aleluya. Exactly como debe ser. Nice, nice, nice. Bueno. ¿Hay alguna question o algo quieran abordar? Anything? Nothing? Nothing, teacher. Great! <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday night. Vamos a tomar attendance, pues. Avisémosle a todo el mundo que es hora de la attendance. Attendance! <laughs> Bye. Ana Cristina. Nelson, ¿tiene alguna question? No, teacher. Ah, ok. <ríe> no, quedó de, de, de hace rato. <ríe> ¿Quiere que se lo haga? Quiero ver lower hand. Ahí está. Vaya. Ana Cristina, not here. Brian. David Miguel. Present teacher. Debra. Tori. Present teacher. Present. Elvin. Present is. Gracias. Good night. Good night. Present. Good night. Good night. Hector. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Imelda. Present teacher. Ok. Iván. No here. Joanna. Jocelyn. Present. All right. Karen. Laura. Present teacher. Maria. Present teacher. Miguel. Good night. 
Present teacher, good night. Good night. Nelson, see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend, actually. Yeah. Thank Nelson. you. Good night. Good night. Present. All right. Paula. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wendy. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Wilmer. A Wilmer knows about the first day. Yeah. Okay. It's true. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Finish the platform. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.